court finds sufficient misconduct to warrant a new trial, any pretrial motions at this time? Yes, Your Honor. State advises that we will be seeking the maximum sentence of life in prison. What? Your Honor, my client has four years left. Mr. Spector, the state has every right to seek that penalty. Would you like to confer with your client before I vacate his conviction? Or you could just withdraw your motion right now. I'll confer with my client, Your Honor. Get the message? Four more years. Or you get out now. I'm staying the rest of my life. September 19, 2007. What? His halfway point. I realize I can make it. I never said this could happen. He's sending a message. It's got nothing to do with you. It's got everything to do with me. What do you want to do? What do you think? If we win, I win in. If we lose, I don't. We'll win. How do you know? Because I know. Same way you knew I was guilty. What do you think? I think Harvey wins his cases. What would you do? I trust him. Harvey, can you give us a minute? Clifford, I don't know you, and you don't know me. But I'm going to tell you a story about what that man did for me and why I think you should trust him. The court is now in session. Mr. Spector. Going to withdraw your motion? Your Honor, my client wishes to proceed to trial. What do you think you're doing reopening this case? Making sure an innocent man doesn't suffer for the crimes of others. And what about Jill? Don't you care how she suffered? You two would know more about that than anyone, right? Excuse me? I bought the Devastated Friend Act 12 years ago, but I know better now. Mike, meet Jason Black and Matt Bailey. Just don't shake their hands. They've got Jill Hodgkin's blood all over them. Look, I don't know what you think you know, but when I'm done testifying, the jury's going to know that Clifford killed Jill. Just because you switched sides doesn't mean the rest of the world did. We just lost the letter. What? I didn't realize he'd have the nerve to lie on the stand. It's not exactly a giant leap from killing someone. Perjury and murder, they aren't the same thing. Yeah, murder's worse. It's easier, nobody's watching. Let's go. Mr. Black, what exactly did Jill tell you regarding the defendant? She told me she felt trapped. I thought she was talking about school, but now I know what she meant. That letter was dated a week before she was killed. She must have broken up with him, and this is how he paid her back. Mr. Black, you said you didn't see Jill Hodgkins at all on the day of the murder. Is that correct? Correct. So there'd be no reason for your blood to be on any of her clothing at all? No, there'd be no reason. Would you be willing to have a DNA test, Mr. Black? Objection, Your Honor. Prejudicial. We'll pay for it if that's a problem. Mr. Spector. It's about the DNA, and they can't spin that. Detective Packle, the dress wasn't the only article of clothing that you submitted, was it? No, there was a camisole. Was it in your report? Yeah, if you bothered to read it. I did read it, Detective. And what was the DNA analysis on that camisole? I never picked it up. Why is that? Well, it wasn't ready till two days later, and we already had enough from the dress. Enough? A man's life is at stake. Enough for what? Enough for you to put him away without bringing it up for 12 years. Well, I did pick up that test, along with the camisole. Your Honor, I'd like to request a sidebar. On what grounds? The camisole and any evidence connected to it are inadmissible. This is bullshit. Easy. What? Your Honor, in between picking up the camisole at the precinct and dropping it off at the lab, you can see here the document is flawed. Therefore, the chain of possession with respect to the camisole was broken. You have to be kidding me. It's inadmissible. Verse 6. What? 
first six months are the hardest. And you mind. I don't know if I can do that again. Mr. Spector, you are accusing a police officer of tampering with evidence. Yes, I am. When the results of the DNA test came back, they didn't line up, and Detective Packle changed the custody documents. Even if Mr. Spector's assertions were true, it would automatically taint the evidence anyway. He's got a point. That camisole was what allowed us to reopen this case in the first place. The camisole was proof that evidence was buried. That's why the case was reopened. An entirely separate issue from whether that evidence can be used in this trial. Clifford, I don't know what's going on in there, but no matter what they rule, he's not going to lose this one. You sure? Yeah, I am. Your Honor. That's enough. I'm instructing the jury to disregard all testimony relating to either the camisole or the resulting DNA test. DNA results. Jason Black and Matt Bailey, they matched samples of the DNA taken from that camisole. They did it. Where'd you get that? I found it. Well, it doesn't prove anything. It's their blood on her. So what? They could have had a gym class together, played flag football, or any one of a hundred other reasons. Jason Black said he didn't see her that day. It's two specks of blood from what could easily be any other day. What's wrong with you? Me? You come in here with some unauthorized DNA test, and, and right away you expect me to just release a convicted felon into the street. He didn't do it. And how can you allow him to sit in there while these two other murderers go free? Let me explain something to you. My job's to prosecute, your job is to defend. I didn't bury any evidence. I didn't toss that DNA. The judge did that. Based on fact, you're coming after me for the sins of someone else. This piece of paper here means nothing. So unless one of those two boys just up and volunteer that they killed that girl, your client's gonna go back to prison for the rest of his life. Terrence, you have a reputation as a fair man. I don't give a damn what other people think of me. I care about what I think of me. Take him off. Huh? Take him off. He's not an animal. I want to talk to him like a man. <clears throat> what happened? Wolf won't drop the charges. What? I tried everything. You, you tried? Look, we can cut a deal. We can ask for more time. He already said no way. We have got to try. Try like you did with the DNA. I had four years. Four years of 16 that I only had in the first place because of you. Clifford, we shut up. Why don't you take it out on me? What'd you say? I said take it out on me. Harvey. I put you in there. I let you rot. I didn't give it a minute's thought for over a decade. Don't push me. Why not? I deserve it. It's my fault. You said it yourself. Harvey. They'll put me back in the hole. That's why now. Oh, increase the sentence? It's going to happen anyway. Guard. Come on. You know, Jason Black. I said don't catch me. Hey, guard, get in here. They killed Jill. And they are out there laughing their asses up. Knock it off. Get away. Come here. Get off of him. You tried? Let's go. You said you'd get me out of here. Let's go. You said you'd get me out. What just happened? I just bought us 48 hours. <laughs> <laughs>